Hello, this is Harris Jackson and welcome to my channel. This is a short video about Alistair Crowley and the time he spent on Chancery Lane, which was roughly about a year. He moved to Chancery Lane 67 to 69 in these luxury flats. He signed the tenant agreement as Count Vladimir. Uh, apparently, he wanted to know what it was like to be treated as one of the upper classes. Only the front remains. The original building was demolished in 2005. Unhappy with his progress in the Golden Dawn with the cult knowledge, he moved in his own private teacher, which was Alan Bennett. It's here where Crowley started learning ceremonial magic, uh, the evocation of demons and evil spirits and spirits, sex magic, drug use in rituals uh, with hashish, cocaine and opium. Uh, Crowley ignored the warnings of addiction, uh, believing that his own spirit is more powerful, uh, a philosophy that he does actually go more into in Diary of a Drug Fiend. Little was known about drug addiction at this time. In fact, it was called habituation. And, well, anyway, to cut a long story short, <laughs> he got addicted. Two rooms here were fitted out as temples, one white, uh, one black. Uh, the former was filled with giant mirrors to, in, in a bid to retain the spirits that they conjured up. There were complaints of shadowy figures, mysterious black cats. Uh, people complained of dizziness entering the flat. Crowley was notorious of never closing rituals and was accused of leaving behind spirits. The, the Loch Ness Monster being one of those accusations. He kept a skeleton feeding it cups of blood and sparrows in an attempt to bring the skeleton back to life. Uh, in 2005, during the demolition, workmen found a human skull with a pentagram on it. Bennett left the flat for Southeast Asia, just spending under a year with Crowley to study Buddhism. Uh, it's probably, <laughs> probably a wise decision after spending just under a year with Crowley. And Crowley himself went on to the famous Boluskin Lodge. Unfortunately, there is no blue heritage plaque for us to crowd me here on Chancery Lane, uh, which is why I'm making this video. Now, regardless if you agree with him or not, regardless if you like him or not, and there's a lot to disagree with him about, and there's a lot to dislike him about, he's still one of the great cultural architects um, of the West in the last 70 odd years. Uh, in, in fact, some people would argue the last 70 years were his creation.